So when it comes to the yielding, it is absolutely all about the space. We've got our forward fold queen size bed, our bunks in the back and a very spacious interior living area. Whether it's for couples or families, the Eildon is a true winner. Now, don't be overwhelmed by the size. While we do have all this space and, uh, and extra, extra room, the Eildon has a forward fold motorized open. So that's right, you simply undo the latches, the push of a button, this queen size bed is gonna open up all on its own with this built-in actuator. Now, out the side here, we, as with all the camper trailers with Lumberjack, it's all about outdoor living. Up the front, we'll start off with our big fridge slide. Huge fridge slide space on the Eildon. Uh, we could fit our 100 litre dual zone fridge freezers up the front here, no dramas at all. Uh, Inside the fridge box here, we've got its own dedicated power source, meaning that even when the trailer's all closed up, uh, whether you stopped up at the supermarket or something like that, you're still gonna be able to keep the fridge running nice and cold to keep the food and drinks nice and chilled too. We've got an interior light there as well. Uh, the fridge slide's running off its own breaker system. Uh, we've also got the SIG power outlet uh, as well as Anderson plug too. Big space, real winner with the yield in here. Uh, moving back towards the, the rear of the camper trailer, we've got this built-in window here. So uh, the whole thing idea with the yield in is this in interior living. Um, with the high sides, it means you're more protected from the wind and all those sorts of things in, in ordinary weather. Um, the windows are just gonna let a little bit extra light in when the time is needed. Towards the back, as with all Lumberjack camper trailers, we've got our nice big stainless steel kitchen. The stainless steel kitchen on the Eildon is plumbed with hot and cold water to the sink. Um, it's got our extra utility cabinet at the back here, our utility drawer in the front, as well as our, um, our cutlery drawer up the front here too. Nice big four burner stove and of course the pull out uh, serving or prep space on the side. Also the lid of the four burner stove area drops down and becomes more serving space or prep space if needed. With the yield and two, we've got um, at the back here, we've got our own dedicated pole storage. So it means it's not taking up any other precious space within the camper trailer. All our poles are stored in one spot that makes it nice and easy. Now, I spent, mentioned about the water um, plumb to the kitchen here. Now, the Eildon is equipped with a massive 120 litre rear kitchen um, tank. It's also fitted up with a 65 litre front tank as well, which is perfect for running that ensuite tent off the drawbar. Uh, the big annex and uh, awning roof that I'm standing under here is all included. So the annex comes all the way around back behind the kitchen. All the walls, the floor and the draft skirt are all included with the um, annex in the Eildon, which makes it a, a massive outdoor space if you need to. All the walls are modular as well. So um, depending on the weather or depending on the situation, we can have either one of the walls or both or all three walls up. Um, and the setup is completely up to you. Um, with the tires on the Eildon here, we're running the 265-75R16 Good ride mud terrains, but we can also upgrade those to the um, Goodyear all terrains too. They're running a 16 by seven inch alloy wheel as well. Brakes on the Eildon are running our 12 inch electric brakes too. Uh, and of course, with our independent suspension with our twin shock absorbers as well. Let's take a look inside. And this is inside is what really makes the Eildon unique. So let's check that out. Okay, so moving inside the Eildon, I'm gonna start with the back here, cause this is what really, really makes the Eildon unique to other camper trailers out there. Now, behind me, I've got the nice um, big top bunk. So the top bunk is 1770 mil long by a full metre wide. So even for teenagers, it's a fantastic size. I'm not talking those little um, pokey little bunks that you normally see. This is a full size bunk, which is absolutely, as I said, awesome for those teenagers. Below us here, we've got another, the lower bunk here. Now the lower bunk as it sits now is 600 wide by that full 1770 long. So perfect for smaller kids too. Or if we need to, we can drop the table down and this whole area becomes even more bed space. So you've got uh, a bed space that's a little bit bigger than a double bed uh, when we drop the table down. Also, as the kids get a little bit older, if they're moving out the front into swags or whatnot, or with their own independence, just mum and dad coming along, uh, this top bunk can actually fold down out of the way and become storage at the back there. So, um, you know, while the kids are young, there's plenty of space, but also that's, you've got a camper trailer that's gonna grow and change with the family as you need to. Um, I was mentioning before about the table. So the table is a nice large lounge area here in the Eildon uh, with the full leatherette cushions that go all the way around. Inside, we've got our our stereo system. So we've got the CD, DVD, um, AM, FM, U, uh, 
Bluetooth and USB included too, uh, as well as the internal speakers. All the LED lights are all included here um, in the Yieldon, and that's all delivered, powered delivered by two 100 amp hour deep cycle century batteries that are included with the Yieldon too. Um, up the front here in the bulkhead, I've got three really big large um, storage drawers, which are perfect for those everyday items, which means that instead of living out of a bag, I can actually put all my uh, all the important things and, and a lot of my clothes and things like that all up in the front storage here, uh, which makes it nice and easy to access too. Um, you'll notice here that a large big alfresco window on this side and as with all lumberjack camper trailers we've got the large big alfresco window on the other side so on the nice days we can have this open all the way up. Um, if the weather turns nasty we can zip it down. All of the windows have the midgy mesh in them too and also they're double zipped meaning that um, if we can have the windows opened up if the weather turns nasty through the night I don't have to go outside to close up I can simply zip them up from the inside which makes it nice and simple. I'm going to move up and show you the front bed now. The front bed is a queen size memory foam mattress and as I mentioned earlier in the video it's got an actuator on it so it's actually a motorized open which makes setting up the yield and super super simple let's take a look at that now Okay, and finally guys, we've got the front bedroom on the yield and massive space, really big, heaps of headroom and of course the queen size forward folding bed uh, with a memory foam mattress. And again, let's not forget that actuator. So the press of a button, bed folds over, no winching, no, no heavy lifting, super, super simple. And another big winner with the yield and because of its size, we get all this extra storage up in the bulkhead here. So I've got these three really nice deep drawers, perfect for everyday items, uh, which is really great. So we're not living out of a bag all the time when we're on the road. You can also notice in the front bedroom, it's got its own LED strip light that's included, switched at the front there too. So you can turn that off without getting out of bed. And we've got the three huge big windows the whole way around with the midgy mesh on them, dual zip from inside, outside. They've even got their own little window awnings over the top. So even if the weather's a bit ordinary, you can still have some airflow moving through. Uh, we're going to move outside to the other, other end now and up the drawbar and I'm going to show you some more features of the Yieldon. Okay, so moving to the far side of the Yieldon and this is where the storage continues. There's no point in having a nice big camper trailer like this for the family if you're limited on storage. The Yieldon has bucket loads of it. So the continuation of our kitchen slide area here, we've got even more storage down here. This has got a divider in it so you can load that up. You're never going to have stuff caving in around your kitchen making it hard to push in. Your battery isolator is also located in here so you can shut the batteries down and isolate all the power while you're travelling along. We've got our water tank fillers for our 120 litre rear tank and our 65 litre front tank. We've also got another window on this side too, which we can open and close. It's got a fly screen or a block out blind built into it too. Um, our battery storage, we've got two 100 amp hour deep cycle century batteries included with the Yieldon. Also, this is where our actuator is mounted as well. And then finally behind me, we've got the continuation of that massive fridge slide box at the front. Now, not only do we have this huge area, but we've also with the Yieldon built in this really, really handy extra slide. There's tie down points on here, perfect for a generator, perfect for even a second fridge, or um, you can load this up with tubs and whatnot and, and strap them all down. They're not gonna be bouncing around and moving around uh, while you're traveling. And then the slide makes it really, really easy to get access to. We're gonna jump up the front here and show you some even more storage on the Yieldon and have a chat to you about the gas bottle holders and the jerry cans and the drawbar. Okay, so moving up to the front of the Yieldon, we've got our off-road polyblock hitch, which is ideal for that extra articulation when you're running off-road. The drawbar on the Yieldon is a 100 by 50 by 4 mil thick steel. It's hot dip galvanised for that extra corrosion protection. The drawbar runs all the way back to the suspension subframe, which is bolted and welded to that subframe too. The suspension on the Yieldon, we're running an independent setup. It's got coil springs and in, uh, dual shock absorbers too. Uh, back up to the nose here, we've got our handbrake, breakaway cable and trailer plug. The trailer plug can be adapted to whatever suits your vehicle, whether it be a round or a flat plug. And also we're running the Anderson plug up here too, which means we can charge the batteries while we're driving along. Also up the front here, we've got our uh, front tap, uh, which is plumbed into our 65 litre front water tank, which is ideal for setting up that ensuite tent, running in showers and, and what have you when you're, when you're living off grid. We've got the big, nice big stone guard here behind us as well. Um, and then of course the, the huge front storage box. Down the far end, I've got twin nine kilo gas bottle holders. I've got the twin jerry can holders with some additional storage space on the side. And then this extra storage to this far side here as well. 
So that's it guys, that's the Yieldon. If you want some more detailed shots, you can have a look on our website, check out the gallery section on the Yieldon page. There's a stack of um, detailed photos on there too. Or even better, shoot us an email, give us a call, give us a message. Be more than happy to have a chat to you and, and run you through all the features and, and how we can fit in the Yieldon to your family. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.